a splash. I write the songs that makes the whole world sing. I write the songs of love and special things. I write the songs that make the young girls cry. I write the songs, I write the songs. Cheer bum die. Run the thing. <laughs> Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd. <laughs> Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media family to Lloyd Brown Music. Today we're going to be talking about songwriting. Yes, songwriting. The journals to one's musical life. Now, before I go any further, I'm not going to be doing a general video about songwriting. I've already done one of those videos already and you can catch it on here, on that card right there. And maybe a reference video that's going to be placed on the screen as well. I'm not going to be dealing with a general aspect of songwriting. Like I said, I've done that already. Um, so you can check out that video. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you an aspect of songwriting for the particular track that I'm working on that I've been revealing in the rebranding video. So we're going to get into that um, in a bit. But here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that Paul McCartney, when he wrote Yesterday, Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away, that tune there, it wasn't the exact lyrics that he came up with first. Do you know the lyric that he came up with first for that song? It was none other than scrambled eggs. Yes, I want a plate of scrambled eggs. Fat. Now, who would have thought that scrambled eggs would turn out to be one of the most covered songs in pop history. So there's not really a right or a wrong way to write songs. I'm just giving you a disclaimer right about now that I'm giving you the Lloyd Brown way of how I write my songs. It's not absolute and it's not straight and true, but it's just my way. And if you're watching the video, you're probably interested as to the implementation of my songwriting. So without further ado, let's get into the lab. So you want to be a singer in a local reggae band? <laughs> Bugs in my little reference right there for you. Right, okay, so we're going to be talking about songwriting, all right? And the first thing that one needs to have sorted when you're songwriting is prep. I know I've used the analogy of cooking and songwriting and music and mixing, but the two really married together in, in that regard. So you need prep. Just like how you want to prep your vegetables and prep your onions and prep, prep your your bell peppers and what have you and chuck them up so you don't have to be faffing around when you're making the meal so you save time on that so the one thing you need to have prep on is your phone all right your phone is going to be your best friend in relation to songwriting because song ideas may come at inopportune times and opportune times and in different scenarios and situations so if you have a phone which i I am sure you do. Two of the most basic functions it basically has is a voice recorder and a memo. I use the Google keyboard where I press the microphone and I'll just say, Mary had a little lamb, fleet was white as snow, and it will come up on the phone. It will type the lyric out on the phone. Love it. I still use pen and paper sometimes, but not all the time now. But anyway, let's move on. Right, now, you've got your phone, you've got your notebook, you've got your voice recorder. Okay, so let's go into the rhythm, the source material that you're going to need to write the song on, obviously. Now, even in that case, there are different ways of having the source material. You can compose the source material by yourself or with some musician friends that you have, or you can just have the melody in your head. There's no right or wrong way, but whatever way you basically have, you're going to have some kind of source material to work from. And at this moment, I have my rhythm track that I built. Okay, so let's go into the rhythm track, which has been the rhythm that I've been building and working on for the last few days. Here it is. Okay. You know the tune? You know the rhythm already? Right, 
So in listening to the rhythm track, one of the tips that I basically put on the 12 songwriting tips for budding songwriters is to listen to the rhythm and go with the feeling that you have with that. It's not a given that you're giving a rhythm to voice and because predominantly roots artists are on that rhythm that you need to follow suit and write a root song to that. If you feel a love song to it, write the love song to it. Don't let no one else who's on the rhythm dictate what you must sing. You sing what you feel. You're the vessel. Nobody controls your vessel. You get what I'm saying? So write how you feel. That's most important, all right? Don't just try and fit in to something. Listen to the track and see where it basically puts you. So in listening to the track, I'm kind of getting a, um, what vibe am I getting? I had the word in my head. Um, I just had the feeling of trodding, walking, stepping, moving, you know, just moving, moving in a direction. You know, moving in the direction I need to go through in the timeline of life. But life not being perfect, because life never is, you know? So with that, I wanted to start the song in an unorthodox way. And by that, I mean, not just follow the chords. And this is an example of following the chords, okay? So when we get into the actual rhythm itself, I'm like, explain what I mean. Okay. One, two, three, four. Da 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 Okay, although it does fit and it doesn't hurt my ears, for me personally, I'm always trying to put something different. I'm always trying to put a different spin, melodically and lyrically to a tune. So what I decided to do on this track was to actually answer the rhythm, but in turn direct the rhythm into the chords that they need to play, that the music, the composition needs to play for me to follow on with that. I can't explain it better than actually singing the melody for you right now. So here we go. So I'm not going to start on the bar. Here we go. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay, right, so we've established that. It's gonna go into the change. It's a compromise between singing it in the style that I've been singing it in the verse, but compromising it with actually singing on the bar, you know, because if I use the same method and sing across the song in that way, it's gonna get a bit boring because it's all gonna start and finish in the same place. So you have to kind of switch it in an opportune time where it will fit and it will create some kind of to it and fro in with the movement of the melody, all right? And this is what I mean by that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So that's basically the melody for the song, okay? Now with the teaser that I gave yesterday, how did I actually start the building blocks with the track? It was with the chorus. I definitely had the chorus down before I even had the song down. So with the teaser, 
that's been doing the rounds yesterday, I am going to play you the harmony tracks that I've done and where they fit in the song. So here we go. And that's basically it. That's basically the, the gist of the song. So with the vocals now, obviously I have, to, I have to write something to the melody that I've got, right? I wanted to say something in terms of my perennial movement in life, you know, and just to basically state the obvious, you know, state the obvious in the life that I'm living and the life not being perfect because no one's life is perfect. We all make mistakes. We all mess up from time to time. But in our existence, we all make our own way with the choices that we make in the scenario and situations that we find ourselves in. And that in turn, we learn from our lessons and move on because no one is perfect. Nobody is perfect. So I wanted to emphasize that fact by saying, well, even though I'm living, my heartbeat seems to be irregular because I'm not in tune with everybody. And that's basically it. That's how it started. So let's play the song from start. I'm just gonna turn up my vocals a little bit more so you can hear what's warning. Okay. Irregular heartbeat It's my irregular life Making regular mistakes But different all of the time Steep is the learning curve To the place I need to arrive One foot in front of the other Face myself and keep in time Right, so with that, it's just basically stating how we all live, you know? it's I, I tried to make the song as universal as possible so that people can identify with that. Irregular heartbeat fits my irregular life, making regular mistakes, but different all of the time. We all make mistakes. They might not be the same mistakes, they might be different mistakes, but we make them all the time. And the thing is that we learn from them by putting one foot in front of the other, keeping pace and keeping time. So that's the universal subject matter of what I'm writing. And then I put some analogies to the journey that I'm making in life by saying there's many roads and holes in these shoes to suggest that, you know, I'm walking so many miles in my shoes that they're getting worn out and they've got holes in my shoes and but I still have to move regardless. So here is that part there. With many roads and holes in these shoes, yeah. Still I'm trying my own way. Forging my own way, making my own way. I'm not perfect, still I got my pride. Deep down inside, empty, making that from me. Okay, so that is basically the, the gist of it. I followed it on with another verse, a middle eight, and the pre-chorus and the chorus. I'm not gonna give you all of that, that don't make no sense, all right? But that is just to basically show you the songwriting process that I utilize in this song. In summary, having prep, second of all, listening to the track and seeing where it puts you mentally, emotionally, 
Thirdly, trying to melodify the track in a different way. Just do it in a different way. Do it how you feel. And that's it. And just have something, have something to kind of bounce off, whether it be the melody, whether it be a lyric, whether it be a chorus, but have something to bounce your ideas off based upon where the track is put in your head at that point in time. And that's it. So I'm going to leave you with another clip of this song. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for stopping by. And as always, you've done another cool people. Please abstain from foolishness. If you full enjoyed the video, all I'm asking is that you slap a like, subscribe, smack that notification bell so that you can get notifications of my future uploads as and when they arrive. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by. And it's with that, I'm out of here. I'm gone. Later, Roonies. Out of my sleep, even though it bleeds, I 